I, I met a um, uh, Spanish journalist uh, who works for Xinhua uh, News in Japan here at the Stadium 974 coming to cover the game between the Portuguese and the Ghanaians, Portugal versus Ghana this evening. Uh, Paul, uh, I see you in an Atletico Bilbao shirt and again you are coming to cover a Ghana game. Um, tell us a bit about the jersey that you're wearing. Yeah, well, I live in, I live in Madrid and my wife is from Bilbao and I used to live in Bilbao so obviously if you live in Bilbao you support Athletic Club and who's Athletic striker was Inyaki Williams no so I'm, I'm here to write the story but I really hope that Inyaki does a fantastic job for Ghana he's such a popular player at our club and I think everybody really wants the best for him you've you've watched the Portuguese you know the world-class players that they have You've seen the Ghanaians recently play against Switzerland, winning by two goals to zero. If you look at these two teams, um, how do you assess the chances of these two teams in this evening's game? Yeah, I mean, obviously, people are going to say Portugal are the favourites. No, because of the players they have. Bernardo, Cristiano, and so on. Ruben Diaz was a fantastic central defender. But I think we've seen so far in the World Cup that teams that are able to keep a really high physical, physical presence have got a good chance. And let's be honest, all of, all of the teams from Africa now have got players at the top level in Europe. Inyaki, for example, is a great player. Mohamed Kudos is, is fantastic as well. So I think Ghana will match Portugal physically. And they've also got plenty of reasons for the Portuguese to be worried. I think it'll be tight. I think it'll be a close game. Any predictions? Um, I think Portugal might just sneak it, but, but by one goal. So everything for Ghana might depend on their last two great games. Unfortunately, this is the hardest group with Portugal, Uruguay and South Korea. I think, I think Ghana can beat Uruguay. I think they've got, Uruguay have got quite an old side. Bonnie players like Fede Valverde no, will give the energy. But I think that they've got a really good chance. But be careful of the Koreans as well. They're also a really tough team. Thank you very much, Paul. My pleasure.